and welcome to News Desk. The government issued guidance on the reopening of churches for public worship this week. Our current thinking is that we'll carry on as we are, online only, until the building is ready in September. And we have applied for permission to do so from Bishop Pete. When we do come back, there'll be lots that is different. We will still only be able to receive the bread. We won't be able to use the communion rail and there will be lots of social distancing measures in place so that we can make sure everybody is safe. We won't be able to stay at the end for tea or coffee either. We'll keep you up to date with the current plans as our reopening gets nearer. The latest on the reordering is that on Monday this week, the new concrete floor is being poured in the church. We have new steps up to the chancel and once the concrete is dry, the decorating can start. You can see more on our website where we have posted some photos and a video of the latest activity. We are starting to plan a celebration for the reopening of the church. It will look different to anything we would have planned because of social distancing, but we'd love to hear your ideas. We need lots of ideas so we can work out what's possible. You can email hello at stpetersbentley.org or call Kate on 030 1896 and leave a message. The food bank continues to run from our hall. It was always temporary while the Baptist Church got their permanent solution up and running. The current plan is that we'll hand over from the 3rd of August 2020. This coming week, we will probably reach 150 parcels delivered. We can now receive food donations and we particularly need tins of stewing steak, chicken and sauce and 100 gram jars of coffee. Also tinned fish, tuna or salmon if you feel particularly generous. As well as the usual things like tins of soup, small bags of sugar and jars of pasta sauce. You can drop them in the box outside the hall, which is there Monday to Friday from 8am-ish to 6pm-ish at the Vicarage. Any stock we have left at the end of the month will be passed on to the new permanent food bank. If you've not kept up, don't worry, you can watch this again on the church website. Have a great week and join us again next week for news and information on everything St Peter's in Newcastle.